What's up future pilots? Many of you have been asking, what college course should I take to become a pilot? Let's outline the different paths that you would need to take and let's define the goals that you need to set to set your plan in motion. Let's start by defining our goals. We need to identify a specific goal para malaman natin kung anong path ang tatahakin natin. Kadalasan kapag sinasabi natin, gusto kong maging piloto, ang nasa isip ng marami ay maging airline pilot. But there are other kinds of pilots and a wide variety of pilot careers. Some of these are an airline pilot working for a cargo carrier, being a pilot in the military, being a flight instructor, corporate aviation, charter operation aviation, freight airlines, government services, test pilot, emergency medical services, crop duster operation, airshow stunts, law enforcement, firefighting, media. So these would be our specific goals. It's time for you to select which goal you want. Let's start by identifying the steps we need to take for each goal since nasa Pilipinas tayo. Let's focus on pilot careers that are commonly accessible to student pilots here in the Philippines. To start, I'll assume the starting point from a junior high school graduate's point of view. Since this is the time where you can start making important decisions for your intended career upon completing your junior years in high school, Assuming you have the resources to enroll in a flight school, pwede ka na mag-start ng iyong flight training as early as 16. Pwede ka muna mag-discovery flight para malaman mo kung ano ang nangyayari sa loob ng cockpit at kung ano ang ginagawa ng mga piloto. Also known as an orientation flight, you'll be able to try a flight simulator. Afterwards, you'll be given a pre-flight briefing for you to be aware of the operations inside the cockpit and the different safety measures you need to observe. Then you'll board an aircraft, usually a Cessna 172 or 152, with a flight instructor handling the takeoff and landing. This is only optional and is a fun way to be immersed in the world of flying. Before you begin your flight training at age 16, you can start to apply for a student pilot license. Your ground schooling starts and after passing exams at ground school, you'll be able to start your flight training. After about 40 to 50 hours of flying, you'll have the necessary requirements to proceed to the next step, which will be your private pilot license. Upon gaining enough experience and when you can fly the aircraft on your own, your flight instructor will prepare you for your first solo flight. This will be one of the most memorable moments in your flight training. To earn your private pilot license, you must at least be 17 years of age and a high school graduate. Therefore, this step would be finished after you graduate from your senior high school. Again, assuming you have the resources, you can't get paid while flying as a private pilot. You'll need a commercial pilot license to be compensated for flying. The next step would be getting your commercial pilot license. As a commercial pilot, you'll be able to get paid while flying, gaining more flight time and experience. Experience. Obtaining your instrument rating and multi-engine rating are indispensable as you'll need to fly completely different aircraft from what you've used to fly as a student pilot and as a private pilot. At this point, you would need to finish a bachelor's degree in college as most airlines in the Philippines requires their pilots to have a degree in college. So, ang overview ang pwede mo gawin to land a job for these careers. Take note, this is highly simplified at maraming pwede magbago na factors dito and this is just an outline of the general steps that you need to take. So, anong course nga ba ang dapat mong kunin sa college? Short answer is, any course will do. Lalo na kung marami ka namang resources for your flight training. Any bachelor's degree na kurso sa kolehiyo ay pwede para maging piloto. Pwede ka mag-med, engineering, AMT. What's important is, you undergo your flight training and gain the necessary experience, licenses, and flight hours required. You can also take aviation-related courses like BS Aviation or ComFly, which has flight training included sa course, which allows you to be exposed early on sa aviation industry. However, it is not recommended by most as you won't be able to have other career options aside from aviation. Now, paano naman kung wala kang resources para sa flight training? Usapang practical. 
karamihan sa mga aspiring pilots sa Pilipinas ay galing sa middle or low-income families at mahal ang pag-aaral sa flying schools. It would cost you around 2 to 4 million pesos to get your commercial pilot license plus your college tuition fees sa course mo. So, paano kung wala kang resources? Anong course ang dapat mong kunin sa college? So, starting from junior high school, any strand will do for your senior years. I recommend you take STEM as most courses na related sa aviation ay STEM related. And the knowledge you gain here will be useful when taking up aviation related courses. Upon finishing your senior high school, you can take up STEM related courses in state colleges or universities like UP, Cavite State University, and Filska, where you can gain knowledge in fields like engineering, physics, and of course, aviation. Pwede ka pa rin kumuha ng kurso na hindi aviation related and use this as a stepping stone to have a job first. Then, once you have enough money, you can start saving for your flight training. Pwede ka rin kumuha ng aviation related courses from state colleges like Filska, kagaya ng AMT, or aeronautical engineering kung saan makakakuha ka ng knowledge and experience sa industry while working as an aeronautical engineer or an aircraft maintenance technician while saving up for your flight training. Dahil state colleges at universities itong schools na mga nabanggit, hindi ka na magkakaproblema sa tuition fee as it is paid by the government. And then, there is BISA, which is Bachelor of Science in Air Transportation, major in Advanced Flying, where the flight training is included sa course, at libre ang flight training. All that has been included kanina sa outline ay libre. Details and in-depth explanation can be found in my previous videos. BISA could be a major stepping stone since you'll have your licenses and Upon graduating, you already have your bachelor's degree and you are already a commercial pilot. If you take this path, magpo-focus ka na lang afterwards in gaining more experience and flight hours. We'll talk about the other career options you can take in another video. Advice for aspiring pilots and for all students. While it is important to have a degree and finish a course in college, lalo na if nasa highly specialized fields ka like med or engineering, keep in mind na your future career does not depend entirely on your college course. Choosing a course that you'll take in college is a major decision and you should prepare for it and plan accordingly. But I'd also like to emphasize that in our current age, with all the information readily available to us, we could now easily access and tap into this vast reserve of knowledge available online. Ngayong pandemic, I'm sure most of us students somehow managed to learn a skill or two and apply for a job while studying during the pandemic. There are plenty of in-depth courses online that you can take and be certified for a specific skill that you learn. Programs like Avion School offers in-depth courses on programming and you only pay when you get hired. You have Udemy, brilliant and lots of other places you can learn online. My point is, with our fast advancing society and as our technology and systems evolve, new skill sets and jobs are needed to fuel this growth. The job that you are aiming for today might not even exist 10 years from now. A quote that resonates with this line of thought is, The illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. As you choose your preferred course in college, do not forget that learning doesn't end in the four corners of the university, but rather, it is a lifelong process, and you should constantly be open to new ideas, new skills that you could learn, and also hone that special skill that you have, whatever you are good at, where you perform significantly better. Keep improving that skill. Maybe that's where you'll be working on in the future. So there you have it, future pilots. Keep in mind, this outline is just a simplified version and what I have provided is simply the big picture kung saan ikaw na ang bahala na mag-strategize ng plano na babagay sa iyong specific situation. There are many factors that could play out as you embark on this journey and someday, you might have to pivot and realign your plotted course. Basta ang importante, you have your eyes on your goal. Keep taking steps towards it. As always, dream big, aim high and go follow your dreams. Here's an infographic guide that you can use as an outline in plotting your personal plans. You can download it from our Discord server. Links listed in the descriptions below.